What's going on everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo. No longer do we have to wait to the Google I.O. to get a sneak peek at their next Android OS codenamed N. Google surprised a lot of folks and dropped preview number one today. If you want to check it out, you need either a 6P, a 5X, a 6, a Pixel C, a Nexus 9, Nexus Player, or an Android One device called the General Mobile 4G. There's a lot of new improvements here and expect a lot more as new betas come out. Some are flagship features like multitasking and new notification panel. Others are very much under the hood. They're going to help improve battery life. But there's a lot of stuff that we can show you that does look kind of visually appealing. The first one is a huge feature that Android's been missing, at least stock Android, for a while, and that is multi window support. Finally, side by side multitasking. Just hit that multitasking button on the bottom right, drag the applications you want to use either to the side or the top, depending whether or not you're using a tablet or a phone, and you're good to go. To close it, just swipe it all the way down, and it is gone. Two apps side by side on stock Android. It looks good. Another big new feature of Android N, we now have a new notification drop down menu. We saw this in previous leaks and it is here. The new shade has a bundleable notification that spans the full width of the screen, at least on phones, and quick toggle to the top for notification shade, including for Wi Fi, cellular, battery, do not disturb, flashlight, uh, and a few more. And a new edit button lets users make changes without having to use system UI tuner from Android. Yay! Also, new, you can now reply to messages directly from the notification shade, at least for some apps. Settings also got a gigantic overhaul. At the top, you announced these suggested settings. If maybe you just got a new phone, you don't have a lock screen set, it'll suggest that for you. Maybe you may think you want to change your wallpaper because you haven't yet. It'll suggest that for you as well. If you scroll down in settings, you'll see the new information for each setting. So sound, for example, will tell you what your volume's at. Battery will tell you what your battery's at and so forth. As you jump into any of those settings, you'll see at the upper left hand corner a new hamburger menu. If you go ahead and select set a hamburger, you now get access to all the settings options that you'd get from the default settings app. So that is pretty handy as well. Next one I know is going to make a lot of people pretty happy. Night mode is back. Android M's original dev preview hinted that it was going to be there, but by the time Marshmallow shipped, it was gone. With Android N, it is here and it's way more fleshed out than before. All you gotta do is enable System UI Tuner. Just hold down the little settings button in the upper left hand corner notification shade. You will see it. You'll get a ton of options and set the settings to your heart's content. Another huge update here is Doze on Android N will be able to save battery life even when that screen is turned off instead of only working when the phone has been sleeping for longer periods of time. It means only high priority notifications will show up whenever the screen is turned off. If you wanna know more, Maybe you want to do this for yourself, hit the link down below. We'll give you all the information you need. So what do you guys think about Android N? I know a lot of you are still waiting for Marshmallow to hit your phones. It looks like it's an incremental improvement. It offers a lot of nice things that Android has been missing. Uh, certainly we'll see more as new betas come out over the air over the next few months as we build up to a full release. Give the video a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. Until next time, John Render from Techno Buffalo. Talk to you guys in the next one.